G'day everybody, Nick Dingle here with another Microsoft Word tutorial, this time around looking at lists and numbering. So right now I have a lot of different sentences here which should be in lists but aren't. Okay, I've already typed them up, they're ready to go and I need to put some dot points in front of them so they look a little bit more organised. So to quickly add in lists items or, sorry, lists I should say, you're going to come up under the paragraph tab or the group and you're just going to click on bullet. And that's it. I can click on the next one and go bullet. I can even highlight all of them, click bullet, and that's it. How easy was that? Let me show you a little bit more about bulleting. You can actually, if I just highlight all these, I can change a few things about them. Okay, we can change what type of bullet we're using. So we can use little pictures. We can use little ticks. We can use little arrows if you feel like it. Okay, and you can even go to the point where you can actually define your own list. So you can use a symbol, a font, or a picture. So if I go picture, do do do, from a file, Bing image search, let's go uh, chicken. Oh God. <laughs> Give me a little, yep, you're good enough, mate. Come here. I now have little chickens as my dot points. Oh yeah, that's pretty much it for bullet points. You just simply click on these guys and here's all your settings up here. Now, the next thing is this list actually contains a main list and then a sub list, okay? So for instance, I can highlight all these things here. I can click on my bullet points. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna change my little chickens. I don't mind my chickens, but they're a little bit annoying. I'm gonna go back to black dots. But you can see there are different things within that. So I've got survival, and then you've got one, two, three, four, five, six things which actually belong to just survival. Okay? Problem solving is the next list. So these things should really be a sub list of survival. And it's really easy to do that. Simply highlight the ones you want and you use these buttons up here. Decrease indent, increase indent. If you click on the right one, it makes it a sub list. And you can actually go pretty darn far. And you can do the other way as well, all the way down to this base list. If I click right, you can see these items have become a sub list of survival. So I can come down, I'll highlight the next ones, increase those, go down, highlight the next ones, increase those, highlight those, increase. And everything is nice and organized, everything looks really neat, and you can see. We can actually read it a lot easier than what it is. A lot better than the little chickens. Sorry, chicken. Anyway, that's just one example of bullets, sub lists, and then changing for custom bullets. Now, what if you want numbers? Okay, numbers are piss easy. Click it. You got yourself a number, and you start typing on it. Okay. So let's say, for instance, I have a step-by-step -step instruction manual of how to I don't know, cook some toast, all right? So first things first, I'm gonna go how to cook toast because that's what everyone needs to know. I'm actually gonna cr start creating the numbered list before I write in the items because sometimes it's easy just to write the list while you're doing it. So for instance, I'm gonna, the first thing you should probably do is pick your bread. Now, you may not think that's a really hard thing to do, but there are different types of bread now, aren't there? So maybe we should tell them the different types of bread. So that's going to be a sub list of pick your bread. So I'm going to click on increase indent and you can see it's gone to A. So I can go white, multigrain, green. Anyway, let's leave it like that. And let's say I want to go back down so I can go to step two. Well, you're going to click on decrease indent and you're just going to start typing away. Place bread in toaster. Push down handle. Wait until burnt, because that's generally what I do. Apply, I don't know, butter. Let's go butter first. Apply mm, Vegemite. Can't spell apparently. Eat. And there you go. There's a good old step-by-step -step list of how to cook some toast. To turn off the list, every time I press enter, it's just going to keep adding an item. If I just press enter, on an empty number item, it stops the list. And that's pretty much it. The other way you could stop the list is just by clicking on the numbered icon again. 
and off she goes. So that is bullets, numbering, sublists, and custom bullets all in one tight packed little video there for you everybody. Try it out. You can actually do some pretty hefty sublists in these kind of things. Okay, as I said, you can go as far as you want. But yeah, give it a go. I hope you learned something. Like, subscribe, comment down the bottom for me, please, everybody. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Ta-ta for now.